Hello everybody and welcome back to another blind commentary of Avatar The Last Defender Season 3 Episode 6 The Avatar and the Fire This will be awesome Alrighty, so uh, Yeah, um, that's an awesome title That implies quite a lot Oh my, The Avatar and the Fire Lord this is gonna be awesome. Let's just immediately jump straight to it. Water. Oh boy. Oh me, oh my. Earth. Fire. Hmm. Long ago, the four nations lived together in harmony. Then, everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. Only the Avatar, master of all four elements, could stop them. But when the world needed him most, he vanished. A hundred years passed and my brother and I discovered the new Avatar, an airbender named Aang. It's always and so awkward. These intros are always so awkward when I have nothing to say. Like, to save oh man. But I, believe Aang I know I do keep complaining about that, but it's really kind of awkward. Previously on Avatar. I'm losing this war. I'm the okay. Down. I should have seen this war coming and prevented it. For so long I thought that if my dad accepted me, I'd be happy. I'm back home now. My dad talks to me. Everything should be perfect, right? I should be happy now. I didn't actually talk about the I'm whole Zuko so thing. Confused. I need your help. Um about like for how day, I'll solve this myself. Zuko was confused and like how Zuko was angry at himself because he had betrayed his uncle. Who was the other one who had paid any attention to him for so many it's years? It's time you learned my history with Fire Lord Susie. You need to understand how the war began. All right. I want to know how to end it. Meet me on my home island on the day of the summer solstice. Okay. Okay, Roku. Hmm. You need to know the story of your great grandfather's demise. It will reveal your own destiny. We're gonna have Zuko meet up with Aang, and they'll probably fight, and then they'll probably talk, and then they'll probably join forces, and they'll probably fight against some illusions, and it'll be awesome! Oh man! There's nothing here. Yes, there is. An entire village. Hundreds of houses. All completely buried in ash. Wow. It's like Pompeii. It's never too early for a sitting with the court painter, Zuko. Make sure he gets your good side. <laughs> well, oh, that's mean. I need to ask you something. What do you remember about our great grandfather's history? Ah, oh, Zuko. It's so strange how your mind works. Fire Lord Sozin began the war, of course. He spent his early years secretly preparing for it, but he was as patient as he was clever. He famously waited for the comet, later renamed Sozin's Comet, and used its power to launch his full-scale invasion of the world. In the end, yeah. he died a very old and successful man. But how did he die? Didn't you pay any attention in school, Zuko? He died peacefully, in his sleep. He was ancient. That's definitely not true. I'm very certain that the Ozaya, whatever, the current Fire Lord, killed him. <laughs> very likely. Oh, hello. It's a dragon! Oh, I love dragons. Oh, that's. Immediately, best episode ever! Dragons! What no, does it mean? I'm not that freaking. Oh, he did text. The fire sages keep the secret history in the Dragonbone catacombs. Huh. So I guess there are no dragons alive. That would be a shame. Okay. Huh. 
Huh. It's kind of interesting how bending has been used as a key so far so often. That's kind of cool. So Zuko will become the spirit of the dragon. The hopefully. That'd be awesome. Come, Aang. Where are we going? To visit my past. Our shared past. As I feel my own life dimming, I can't help but think of a time when everything was so much brighter. I remember my friend. <laughs> Looks like I win again, Roku. Are you kidding? The tree root did all the work. That's cool. You were friends with Fire Lord Sozin? Back then, he was just Prince Sozin. Oh, that's and adorable. He's my best friend. Awesome. Hmm. Say something to her. Uh. Love is hard when you're young. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> don't worry. It gets better. Now come with me. We have a party it's to so attend. It's cool. Wait, whose party is it? Sozin and I shared many things, including a birthday. Something happened to my father? No, Prince Sozin. We are not here for you. We are here to announce the identity of the next avatar. Oh, it is our honor to serve you, Avatar Roku. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. That's, so that's, the day know. came when my friend Roku had to leave the Fire Nation and face his destiny as the Avatar. He needed to travel the world so he could master the other elements. Hey, why aren't you packed yet, all powerful Avatar? Come on, show me how it's done using all four kinds of bending. I started packing. But then the Fire Sages told me I won't need any worldly possessions anymore. Oh. It happened so fast. Everything's going to be different now. Here. I hope you're at least allowed to have this. But this is a royal artifact. It's supposed to be worn by the Crown Prince. I want you to have it. This is amazing. Oh boy. Oh gosh. Do they have bathrooms in the spirit world? As a matter of fact, they do not. Hey, we're almost at the Southern Air Temple. This was the first That's stop on that's kind of cute that that um, artifact is still with um, Roku. That's lovely. My avatar journey. It was the place where I was trained to master airbending, and also where I met an old friend of yours, Monk Diazzo. No <laughs> way! Oh, that's awesome! Hey, Gyatso, you want to see a new glider trick? Check this out. <laughs> Here's the thing. I can't believe I never thought of that. Ah, ah. <laughs> That's amazing. I can't believe you were friends with Monkey Yatso just like I was. Some friendships are so strong. 
They can even transcend lifetime. That's... Oh, that's such a lovely sentiment. After my years mastering airbending, I traveled to the Northern Water Tribe. Waterbending was especially challenging for me. Of course it is, you are freaking... But in time, I mastered it as well. <laughs> <coughs> He's buff. My earthbending master said was uncompromising, stubborn, and blunt. And a lifelong friend. He's really surfing with everything. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. It was bitter work, but the results were worth it. Twelve long years passed <sighs> before I saw my friend. Oh, that's just... Oh, God. That's... It. Oh, man. Oh, that culmination of his powers with that song was just... Oh, God. Oh, that, that that's just divine. Oh man, I almost want to watch that again. Again. Oh, that's Roku returned. Great. He was a fully realized avatar. And I had changed as well. Or should I say? Oh, excuse me, but did he say 12 years? And he has had like one year. Oh, that's silly. Customarily my subjects bow before greeting me. But you're the exception. <laughs> After all these years, he was still my best friend. And a few months later, he was my best man. <laughs> Roku, it's that girl who didn't even know you were alive. Tamin, I was persistent. When love is real, it finds a way. This means that he wasn't, hadn't actually mastered the avatar state. On wedding days, we looked to the future with optimism and joy. I had my own vision for a brighter future. Hmm. Excuse me. May I borrow him for a moment? That's not very traditional, but okay. <laughs> What's on your mind? I've been thinking hard about the state of the world lately. Sozin, it's my wedding. Have a cookie. Dance with someone. Lighten up. I know, I know, but just hear me out. Right from the start, the I was destined to be Fire Lord. And although we didn't always know it, you were destined to be the Avatar. It's an amazing stroke of fate we know each other so well, isn't it? Together we could do anything. Yeah, we could. Our nation is enjoying an unprecedented time of peace and wealth. Our people are happy, and we're so fortunate in so many ways. Where are you going with this? I've been thinking. We should share this prosperity with the rest of the world. In our hands is the most successful empire in history. It's time we expanded it. No, the four nations are meant to be just that. Four. Roku, you haven't even stopped to consider the possibilities. There are no possibilities. This is the last I want to hear about this. That was my first real test as the Avatar. Unfortunately, it was many years before I learned that Sozin had gone ahead with his plan, despite my warning. Okay. How dare you occupy Earth Kingdom territory? How dare you, a citizen of the Fire Nation, address your Fire Lord this way? Your loyalty is to our nation first. Anything less makes you a traitor. Don't do this, Susan. Don't challenge me. It will only end badly. It's over.
No, that won't do anything. He's the freaking avatar after all. <laughs> okay. A slight overkill, I might say, but fair nonetheless. I'm sparing you, Sozin. I'm letting you go in the name of our past friendship. But I warn you, even a single step out of line will result in your permanent end. But how will I get down from that? Whatever, that's just silly. Um, hmm. I can't comment on the during and this. I didn't speak or see each other for 25 years after our battle. I spend most of my spare time here, at my home. Okay. <laughs> Ash and destruction will rain down upon peaceful villages. Cute that there's a dragon actually there. Isn't that's the isn't that dragon the creature that um Roku travel did Roku travel with that dragon? Like that's interesting. Roku's island was a hundred miles away, but I could still feel it rumbling and see the black plume of smoke. I had never seen anything like this catastrophe. Naturally, of course. Hmm. You should get the fuck out of there. God. You should just really leave it be there. Roku, Roku is just incredibly powerful. That's quite You're something. Amazing, Roku. You're battling a volcano. And you're winning! Yeah. Unfortunately, my success didn't last, Aang. There was no way I could do it all. But you should have definitely just abandoned it, but... Hmm. That's still rather foolish in my opinion. Battling the elements was hard enough. I had to do it while I could barely breathe. The poisonous volcanic gases were overwhelming. Hmm. It's all right, Bang! <coughs> Get out of here! I'm fine! No, you're not. I wonder what sort of bending, like bending lava, is. Is it like, would, could you like bend lava with combination of water, uh, water, earth, and uh, water, earth, and fire? Need a hand, old friend? Chosen. There's not a moment to waste. Well, apparently it is... Oh, cool. Oh, that's cool! Channeling the heat away! That's... interesting.
a vision for the future, Roku. Oh, that's interesting. Like Zosen and Roku both had a dragon, but they were separate drag. They're like two different dragons. That's. Hmm. Oh, so that's another betrayal. You see? Oh God, it's awesome. sense of our past, Aang, and you will bring peace and restore balance in the world. Roku? Roku! With Roku gone and the Great Comet returning, the timing was perfect to change the world. I knew the next Avatar would be born an air nomad, so I wiped out the air temples. But somehow the new Avatar eluded me. I wasted the remainder of my life searching in vain. I know he's hiding out there somewhere. The Fire Nation's greatest threat. The last airbender. That's cool. That can't be it. Where's the rest of it? You sent this. Didn't you? I found the secret history, which, by the way, should be renamed the history most people already know. The note said that I needed to know about my great-grandfather's death, but he was still alive in the end. No, he wasn't. What are you talking about? You have more than one great-grandfather, Pensuko. Sozin was your father's grandfather. Your mother's grandfather was Avatar Roku. Why are you telling me this? Because understanding the struggle between your two great-grandfathers can help you better understand the battle within yourself. Oh, man! You are, are always at war inside you, Zuko. It is your nature, your legacy. <coughs> but there is a bright side. What happened generations ago can be resolved now by you. Because of your legacy, you alone can cleanse the sins of our family and the Fire Nation. Born in you, along with all the strife, is the power to restore balance to the world. This is a royal artifact. It's supposed to be worn by the crown prince. Oh. oh, that's awesome. You mean after all Roku and Sozin went through together, even after Roku showed him mercy, Sozin betrayed him like that? It's like these people are born bad. No, that's wrong. I don't think that was the point of what Roku showed me at all. Then what was the point? Roku was just as much Fire Nation as Sozin was, right? If anything, their story proves anyone's capable of great good and great evil. Oh, that's Everyone, a... even the Fire Lord and the Fire Nation. That's a bit to too much on the nose. And I also think it was about friendships. Do you really think friendships can last more than one lifetime? Yeah. I don't see why not. Well, scientifically speaking, there's no way to prove that. Oh, Sokka, just hold hands. <laughs> Okay. Oh man, this was freaking awesome. Oh god. Holy sh <clears throat> Oh my, it was so great. Oh, this was such an amazing episode. Oh god. Oh where the begin? This was just I really wanted to see something like this. Oh, and the rel relation with the end, it's, oh, it's so good, oh, man, oh, oh, God, it's so good, I don't know what to say, oh, I'm almost crying, it's, oh, it's freaking amazing, oh, God, it's, and, 
and that end revelation that Rogue and Sozen are like both grandfathers of um, Zo Z uh, Zuko was even hinted at earlier when we saw him struggling with his se inner self. We saw those two dragons, and that is very significant now that we have learned that those are Zuko, uh, Roku's and uh, Zozen's dragons. That's so cool. Oh god, this episode was so amazing. Uh, I'm almost tearing up. It was so great. Oh, it was so good. It's really damn good. Oh my, it's... I'm really... I'm really... This is... I, I, I don't know what to say. This is... Oh gosh, it's such an amazing episode. I don't know what to say. Like, uh, it's so good. It's so darn good. Uh, I don't know. It's just, it's a really great episode for me. I really like this. I don't know if everybody enjoyed it as much as I did. Probably not. But oh god, it was so full of symbolism and so many references and it was so overall great oh my god I enjoyed everything about this it was so great it's so good oh god oh me oh boy oh boy I don't know what to say it was really I'm repeating myself it's a really great episode oh god <laughs> okay Maybe some of the uh, some of those points were maybe a bit too much on the nose, but I don't really mind that. Like, especially that end, like whole that ending. It wasn't too on the nose for me personally. And this probably means that Zuko will become the next Fire Lord at the, the series or at the end of the series, since he has he got that ceremonial like thing. And it's so cool. Oh god. Oh man, it's so great. And that message at the end was something that we have learned through symbolism, but now it was maybe avoided a bit too. It, it was worded clearly, but actually that's, if I have to say something bad, it was worded too clearly maybe. Like, that's something ha that has been alluded to multiple times by now, that there are good people in Fire Nation and urged friendships can last throughout bound boundaries. And, how it doesn't matter what nation you are, you get, are still good inside. That's maybe a bit too much of the... Maybe too much... Maybe too clear, shall we say. But I don't really mind too much. But that's kind of a bad thing. Kind of. Oh, it's so great. It's so damn great. Oh, let's go through it scene by scene. Oh, and this also very well shows that how... How much Zuko is like bonded to Aang, like since he has the blood of the Avatar. <laughs> yeah, Avatar has been inside of him. <sighs> that sounds bad, especially in considering those fanfics. But like, it shows that like um, Zuko, technically speaking, fulfills the other part of Aang, like even more now, like because of the fact that. Um, Roku is his ancestor, and he is a person struggling with good and evil inside of him, technically speaking. So that's something very cool. Uh, this very beginning was such a good, very well alluded to the whole thing, like, or the whole duality between the two, the two main characters, in my opinion. That's so great. Um, hmm. What else to say ab about this? It's kind of interesting that the fire sages have been keeping that as a heat secret and not and it's not been burned. It makes sense, but that's interesting. Um that's a cool. I think that's the Zozen's dragon, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe. Anyway, it's cool. There's only five scrolls though, that's kind of a lot of history to put into only five scrolls. And from those webs we see we have we see that a lot of people have not like actually read them because that they don't think it's important literature. It's kind of it, it, this is a really cool callback. Like 
this whole scene where they, everybody bowed to him was so amazing. Because that means that at that time Avatar was still like considered like Avatar was considered really the harbinger of peace and balance. And even Zosan realized that. At least at this point. Oh, that was such a great scene. Um it was also, in my opinion, it's very important that we get to see their uh, the early parts of their youth. Like that Zosan and um, Zosan and Roku have been best friends like forever and that's very important character wise because um, otherwise it would be very forced upon and it, even though we kind of have to gloss over that it's still very that it's important that we get to see it and then the whole handing over the artifact like this is such a cool cool moment it symbolizes quite a lot of things and it's very cool more so it accepts the other person into your family and into the future. That's I'm over analyzing, but that's what I feel like. It's very cool. Um, then we get to see the ho whole journey that um, Roku took, and that's amazing. This scene with the song was just so god. Oh my god, this was so amazing. Oh, it was such a good. Oh, it was. The whole journey of Roku was so great. I really enjoyed it. And then as uh, Roku said, we already got to see some of Zosen's insanity already here, should we say. Um, we get to see the small cool fight and that Zosen by no means could defeat Roku, should we say. Like, they, he would, he's by no means matched to him, which is kind of interesting that he is so much part that um, Roku is so much more powerful. But he had 12 years of practice with every element, so that makes sense. And he is the avatar anyway, so yeah, it's cool. I, I do like that. And then the whole fi finale, even though it seems kind of pointless that he would protect just the village, I mean, it does make sense, but I, I kind of feel like that was a dumb decision. And he sh should have just abandoned it all. Uh, we got to see them cooperate, and then at the final moment, Z uh, Zosin betrayed him. That's a very cool moment. That's, mm. And then the whole, it immediately transitions into Aang's birth, and it's so cool, like, it's so cool. So, so, so cool. Oh god, it's such an amazing... Mm. And, yeah, I, did, I don't think there's that much more to say, like... Um, there was this whole ending scene where I with Iroh's confrontation with uh, Iroh's confrontation with so Zuko and that was frankly speaking quite amazing and I wonder how much this will change Zuko and whether that change that he's destined for which is the that he will be the integral part of Aang's journey I wonder if this this is very clearly the catalyst for that. But that's all I have to say. So, all in all, this episode is just really amazing in just many terms. It maybe too forcefully pushes the plot forward, but that it still does such a great job at it that it doesn't really bother me at least. It's, it, this episode was, we got so much background and we get so much character development for even the past Avatar Roku, and that's so great. It's just an amazing episode overall. I really do enjoy this. It's such a great in every regard, such a great episode in every regard. I don't know what else to say. I'm just fanboying over this quite a lot. I want to say something bad, but I really don't know. Even my usual complaint about the pacing is just thrown out the window because this was paced amazingly and it fits into the whole series perfectly. I just, frankly speaking, don't know what else to say. So this might actually be one of the shortest, like, these scene by scene videos I've done, so, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's an amazing episode. I really, I really enjoyed this. But if you did not, if you did not enjoy this, Please tell me why. If you, I really want to see like if there's anything bad because I want to see the good and the bad of everything. So, as per usual, 
please do comment. Leave me your thoughts about the episode. Leave just random notes and random facts and opinions. I really enjoy reading comments and replying to them. It's so fun. Alright. I thank you all very much for watching. As per usual, it's been awesome. This episode was so great. Stay awesome. I'll see you in the next episode. Have a great day. Gamu out.